Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken today. I know, can you believe, okay, politics are always a central focus, but especially when it comes to news, and Eric Holder is now on his, oh, I didn't do what everybody knows I did tour. Mm. Well, for now, we're gonna bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. I just keep going back. Yeah? Or I can come forward. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said that, uh, okay, here's the people that are supposed to be friendly to the Republicans are saying, well, the Republicans are never, none of this is, go they're not going to do anything on Benghazi, they're not going to do anything on the IRS, they're not going to do anything on the reporters, because what happens is the Democrats will eventually, the report, the press will, will fall back into the president's camp, and they will simply say, the Republicans have overreached. Well, this time they have to overreach, because, um, a lot of their phone numbers are on the list of those people to subpoena, and basically, here's a neat thing, oh, oh, you know what Herbie Daddy just told me? There's a lot of phone numbers and emails that those people that uh, were on the list didn't want anybody to know about, such as boyfriends, girlfriends, sources, all of these things are available. So you hit, and they said, well, we didn't actually open anything up. It's, oh, oh, you know what he says? He's, he says that he knows the United States government because he got great working for him. He said if they say they didn't actually open anything, they opened everything and copied everything, which they said they also didn't do. And France calls for action against Islamists in southern Libya. I know, but that's the... the it, it's called too little too late, folks. I mean, they're losing Libya to... Ever since Obama, with his outreach to Muslim program, you know, he just basically has given the door to every extremist group in the Middle East to take over countries now. But he is this morning, he decided, well, I don't think we can make a no-fly zone work in Libya or in, in Syria because the Russians, yeah, the Russians, they will shoot your damn planes out of the sky. Mm. Said, you fly over sovereign space, uh, we're, they're giving missiles to, okay, they're, not, they're now giving long-range missiles they, I love that they said some of the missiles are capable of hitting Washington, D.C. They're giving the Syrians now. Mm. Which means if we launch an attack on Syria, Syria just may simply launch an attack on the United States. And public records being set in economy on the right track. I, I know. That, that is totally impossible. You cannot talk to any... Okay, we stand in line because we like to go to Costco because they get a real good deal. Great big dogs and stuff you can get in the drink. But we stand in line and you talk to people, everybody's grumbling about the same thing. They don't. The reason why the line is like a half a block long is because they don't have any money anymore, folks. They go to Costco because they're buying, in, they're buying in bulk beans, rice, things like that, because they have no money. And therefore, if you have no money and you sit and do nothing but be standing in a food line, you know that the consumer confidence is not on the rise, it is on the fall. And Libya Congress chief says stepping down after ban law. Yeah, uh, that, 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 you know, that's what happens when you start banning things. Mm -hmm. And three Lebanese soldiers killed near Syria border. Yep. The war is now spirits. Okay, Syria basically provides the military support for the Lebanese government. And now Syria has basically pulled back its support to, to crush the rebellion in Syria. And Lebanon is now facing Hezbollah and all of those things trying to take over Lebanon again. I mean, you, you know that Lebanon used to be this, uh, like the, the Switzerland of the Middle East where everybody could go there and do business. It didn't make any difference what nationality you were, what religion you went there and did business. Basically that ceased to exist, um, you know, 20, 20, 30 years ago, folks, because of the Muslim problems they've been having. And pirates kidnap while well, tanker crew off Nigeria, security sources. Okay, Kirby, Kirby Daddy says, it is impossible. The ter those things are like three football fields in length and are 50 foot up in the air to get to them. In order for them to get on board, okay, say they got handguns. Oh, it's going to really hurt the whole of that ship. Say they got a, a rocket launcher. It's going to really hurt the whole of that because they're meant to be crash proof. You cannot, take an, you cannot take one of those things unless a member of the crew allows you on board the ship. Mm. So therefore, it's probably all insurance scams the whole thing all the time. 
And a Florida court debates what jury can hear in Trayvon Martin killing. Well, yeah, you know, like the, they're not going to be allowed to hear how the guy was a big hulking giant. They're not going. They're not going to be allowed to hear. You know, look at his text messages saying he was up to fooling around, or that they're not going to be able to allow his past drug record, or the fact that he was that he may have been on drugs when he did what he did. So. And justices declined to hear a Planned Parenthood funding case. Okay, the problem comes is they can't do it because the state as a sovereign state has the right to refuse to fund Planned Parenthood with state money. The feds can fund it all they want. The state cannot be made to pay for it. So what happens was the Supreme Court just dumped it back to the state court and the state Supreme Court knows the law. The law is specifically the state does not have to fund anything that it doesn't want to fund. Only the feds oh. have to do that. So. An Arizona mom accused of smuggling marijuana was framed, the family says. Well, nobody buys that one. Okay, the, the family didn't take their car to Mexico to go to a, go to a funeral or something because they were afraid that, uh, you know, that Americans alone in cars get in trouble. So they took a bus and the bus was stopped and they supposedly found 12 pounds of marijuana under the woman's seat. They left, okay, what happened was they said that they couldn't pay, the family couldn't pay the ransom, so she's been in jail for six days, and that's where she'll be for the rest of her life because the family doesn't have the money and the, the feds are not going to get involved, and even Bill O'Reilly does it. That, that said uh, they went on a Mexican bus, which they know are targets to be hit, rather than simply go on an American bus I know. It, uh, it, it made no sense because they went to Sinaloa, which is not a small place, folks. It's a great big, got a little big place. Americans, go, buses go there, tour buses, American. You don't stop American tour buses, but you sure stop Mexican tour buses. And 12 pounds of marijuana. 12 pounds. I mean, they said they got her and she's never coming back. Yeah. Well, she's also Latin, too, so she's going to stay there forever. Consular in Chief President Obama's post -tragedy, tragedy speeches from Tucson to more. Well, I know. Basically, he. Uh, he, he's a PR president, and that's all he is because he. Well, okay, here's the thing. I'm listening last night, that one of the people said they'll actually believe that they did not tell him what was going on with the IRS, what was going on in the Justice Department. They said they probably don't tell him anything because it interferes with his going out at night to parties or going on vacation or playing golf. And since well, he doesn't like, he isn't a managing president. He's just somebody that likes the job. And my guess, uh oh, her daddy says anybody can get him out of office if he doesn't want to go. The Constitution says it, folks. Embattled IRS part of House GOP attack ad campaign. Oh, yeah. But they said that, okay, the very least that's going to happen is the Internal Revenue Service is going to die, go away and is going to be replaced. Obama has no means of raising money for his Obamacare with the IRS under siege, which is why Sebelius is now, well, I'm not violating the law by going out and asking companies to help. Well, she's now asked all of the physicians, the doctors who hate Obamacare, to let their physician's assistants contact the people in these people's books, you know, go and tell them about all the wonderful things they can have. You know what, the, the, I heard one of the doctors said, he said, the first time one of my assistants uses my record book to contact people, I'm going to fire their ass and jam their rear, jam them up the rear ends of the White House, because he said that's a violation of patient doctor rights to have the President of the United States hands in my books, and it's not going to happen. So, the mm -hmm. Sibelius says now, well, that's not what was intended. No, that's exactly what it was intended. And Obama tells Naval Academy grads sexual assaults threaten military. Uh, it's called. It's what happens when you decide to put women in frontline outfits, folks, because like there, like there's about. Um, uh, okay, I was watching a thing. Uh, you even go back to a, a sci-fi thing, uh, Forbidden Planet with Leslie Nielsen and Anne Francis. He wanted to remind the people that his men had been on uh, been on this thing for 300 and some days and they had not seen a woman. So can you please keep her dressed? Mm -hmm. uh, because that's what happens, folks. And Singapore to regulate Yahoo and other online news sites. Yeah, because Singapore is very conservative. You, they don't allow you to chew gum in public in Singapore or smoke cigarettes. So. Oh, they, oh, yeah, that's right. It's and a very a Muslim, Muslim country. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this is a simple one. Get the job done and move on to the next one.